guys, the Rusty Hubcap here. I'm back with another video. And today I went for hub I went hubcap hunting one last day to see what I could find in another uh, larger city. And I did come back with a few good pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first find. I'm going to go in order of the uh, the time that I found it. And the uh, first hubcap is this very damaged. 1995 to 1997 Toyota Tacoma hubcap. This is the second one of these that I found and they're getting extremely hard to find, which is the reason why I took it. As you can see, the metal ring should be sticking out, but this one had been run over a couple times and it's actually been mashed up to where the spoke is. But since these are extremely hard to find, I picked this one up even though it's dinged up. I'm thinking about trying to get something to straighten it out just a little bit to cover up all the damage. But uh, only this section's intact. But it, it was still a really rare hubcap. And if I hadn't have gotten it, someone would have definitely made it worse. So I'm glad I got it when I could. And it was laying face down just like this. The next one is the uh, second one I found right after that one. It's this very small 2006 to 2007 Kia Rio center cap. Now this center cap was equipped to an actual hub cap, but, uh, the, but the center cap usually always falls off before the hub cap does because Kia and Hyundai hub caps never fall off. This one is in very, very good condition. Nothing broken, nothing out of place, and um, yeah, it's made by Kia Carlos. It's got the uh, barcode, and it shows actually the date. Back here, I believe it says 2008, even though this is a, off of a, a 2006 or 7. Probably the second best find of the day. Next tub cap is this, the third one that I found today at a, in order. This is a 1990s Pontiac Grand Am. This is a 90, looks like a 98, 99 Pontiac Grand Am. These are also getting to be fairly common. This is my third one. It's missing two bolts. This is the one missing the most bolts. I have one that has all five, and I have one that just has four. This one is visually also in pretty good condition, but on the back, the clips are totaled. These have been totally mashed, bent over. This one's bent, and this one's straight, while this one is straight, and that one's bent. Actually, that one is broke off. But uh, I keep getting these because these are unusual designs and they don't make hubcaps like that anymore. The next hubcap is the one that I found after the Pontiac. And it's this scrapped Volkswagen Jetta hubcap. This hubcap is extremely rare to me. And uh, I never find these so that's why I picked it up. The badge, it comes off but I'm thinking about gluing this one back on there. Actually some of the hubcap is still on that and that's why that piece there is missing so I can just match it up to where it goes in and it'd probably lock into place but as you can see it's lost all of its rigidity I mean and strength on the back I'm expecting it to say yes Mexico but um there's a big crack right here that I could fix right there that can be fixed right there to give it some more strength but I picked up the badge and left the hubcap, but then I realized I will probably never see that hubcap again, and it was in, it won't totally scrap, so I drove half a mile down the road and to U-turn and get it. So, glad I made that decision to get that one. And uh, last but not least was this 2005 to 2007 Ford Taurus hubcap. And uh, these are very, very common. I mean, it, when I mean common, I mean extremely common. I mean, beginning to be as common as the Ford Econoline van here. This one has all of its lug nuts, like every one of them, but they're usually intact where this one has been run over. It was laying face down uh, by some train tracks, and every clip is bent. You can see the leaves are still inside of it, but um, this hubcap is uh, not in the best of shape, but it's still a really nice forward hubcap, so I took it. And I forgot to actually do an interview on this badge yesterday because I did buy this one at the flea market for only $10. It's this 1945 to 1955 Triumph emblem. I believe for a TR2 or a TR3. 
possibly a TR4. It's got all of its clips on the back. And uh, it's actually in pretty fair condition other than the paint peeling right here. And for those who spotted this hubcap while I was in, this is not a new hubcap as you may remember. I actually did post a video of this one about a few months ago. It's an 89 to 94 Nissan 240SX hubcap that I found in a ditch bank, which I was surprised to see that day I found it. So uh, these are the finds, and uh, stay tuned to next week, possibly the weekend, and I'll actually do more hubcap search, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.